Hi there Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. So without further ado, let's get into your reading. So the first five cards deal with your love relationship situation and the uh, other spread, the other five cards. So these are two separate spreads. These five cards deal more with your general energies, okay? Um, so first of all, love and relationships. We have once again, heavy, heavy air sign. So this is an Aquarius, a Gemini or a Libra. There is some type of a geographical distance between you and this person. The timing or something is always off about this relationship, okay? So you have somebody here who's very uh, straightforward, very articulate, very moralistic. They're, they're very adamant about, you know, right and wrong. They always try to do the right thing. They always fight for the underdog. They're very courageous, very bold, very brave. And uh, the energy is masculine to me. So even if it's a female, it's somebody that is um, masculine, like that, that has the stereotypical masculine traits, the drive, the ambition, the independence. And also they don't care um, what people think. They just say whatever is on their mind. So you're dealing with someone who's not like a, a passionate, warm, cuddly type of a person. You're dealing with someone who is of a different caliber from what you're used to. They lead the way, they lead the charge, and they're so independent that it might be really difficult to have a relationship with them, to form a family with them, to um, express your emotions to them. However, I feel like you do respect this person a lot, okay? And I feel like, you know, with air signs in general, their nature is that they're just almost like, I feel like asexual, you know? Um, they, they don't see people as uh, your male or your female. They don't see people as um, sort of like, oh, you're the, you know, the, the gender that I'm interested in. Let me get to know you. Like their energy is very friendship oriented. And it's really hard to know when an air sign likes you. Just keep in mind when an air sign likes you, because they're an air sign, they like to communicate. If they like you, they'll talk to you. And they'll talk to you more than other people if they like you. They'll Skype you, they'll text you, they'll initiate the conversation. So if you feel like, you know, does this person like me if you're single? If they're not texting you or communicating with you, they probably don't, okay? Uh, if you have to initiate most of the conversation, it might be because they're polite, so they're responding. If you find yourself initiating all of the conversation, no, they don't like you. So I feel like if you're confused, and you might be because you're a different element, and you know, you, you're very fixated on the object of your affection when you are, uh, when you like somebody. So if you're confused, I hope that will help you understand where this person is coming from. This could be um, a sun, a moon, or a rising, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. I feel as if um, there has been some type of a truce between you and this person. You might have been friend zoned. Uh, you might have friend zoned them. And emotionally, you're just trying to move away from the romantic connection. There could still be friendships. However, I feel like for many of you, you're going back and forth with this person. Does he or she like me or doesn't he or she like me? So you're just like confused. And with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, it's almost like something that, that the relationship might have started in a very karmic way. This is usually like a career, a faded type of a situation. When it's in the reverse, you might have met on the job. You might have worked in the same place. You might have met through family members. Like in some way, it's like a very, it could be a very beautiful start of a relationship. So I feel like there's some unfinished business constantly between you and this air sign that you're not resigning yourself to move away from. I also feel like timing the Wheel of Fortune is a big card about timing in the reverse. It's like you're ready to settle down. You have the Empress here. And the Empress is like, I know what I want. I want the home. I want the hearth. I want the family. I want children. And the other person is not there yet. They're not the Emperor, right? So they're not there. They're not a, a perfect match for you just yet. You might want to settle down and they're still trying to find their career path. They're still trying to, you know, possibly, because they're upright, I don't want to say they're playing the field, they're dating other people. 
but I feel like timing wise, it's like you're not on the same page when it comes to what you want out of life. And I feel for many of you, you know, you, you're, you guys are very big daters. You've been around, you, you've dated many, many people, not all of you, but majority of you, you know, what's around the corner, you know, what dating is like. And so you're kind of, um, jaded when it comes to dating. I know what's out there and I know that, you know, all the other options out there are going to pale in comparison to this person. That's what I'm feeling. You know what's out there. You know that, you know, yes, there are a lot of people out there, but people that gets me, people that are intelligent and trustworthy, like this air sign, you know that it's one in a million. So you know what's out there. And I feel like because of that, you're also holding to this connection, holding on to this connection, wondering maybe, maybe one day it'll turn out to be that connection that I'm looking for. So I feel like you have a lot of um, things that you're, I don't want to say you're afraid of trying new things because you're not, but I feel like you already know, you've already been around the block, you know what's out there and you know that it's, it's not going to exceed your expectations, okay? So I feel like fate, there's like the hand of destiny is forcing you to go back and fix the situation. It's forcing you to go back and have one more try with this person. And what I'm feeling as well, uh, for those who are single and this person is not in your life, you're really, really attractive. You're very attractive. This is a card of somebody who takes care of him or herself nice clothes, you know, you brush your hair, you put on makeup, you smell nice, you look good. However, it's like timing for dating is not yet right now because the options that are available, they're okay, but they don't really make the cut. So don't give up on that, okay? Keep dating, keep moving, keep, um, keep building, keep building the connections. And if you've been dating during the Mercury retrograde period, people were not what they seemed, right? So it's just the, t the timing is not right. So don't let that, you know, um, don't let that dating experience during Mercury retrograde, Mercury retrograde is not really a good time for dating. Don't let that affect your future prospects, okay? So keep at it, keep dating because you're gonna meet your match. And we have here, this card fell out when I was shuffling you are going to meet your match, but it's telling you, you know, not to give up. So with the emperor and the empress, it's a very faded union. Okay. And then maybe even this person can one day grow into the man or the woman that you're looking for, but timing is not right right now. It doesn't mean it's a permanent, um, it doesn't mean like it's a permanent wrench in the works. It just means maybe not right now, maybe later. Okay. So, Moving on here to your work and finances and everything else. Also, one last message. Don't let your family interfere with your relationships, okay? Mom, dad, their expectations for you, who you should marry, what marriage should look like, how to raise your kids. If you're in a couple with somebody, um, child rearing, family practices, and all of that is between you and your significant other. So don't let too many people interfere with this process. A lot of fire signs um, are very family oriented in general, and you do, you know, take what they say in to heart. And it, it it might not be completely appropriate when you're trying to work things out with your partner. Okay, so let's leave that alone. It's a sensitive topic I'm sensing here. Um, in general, uh, when it comes to, you know, your general reading, when it comes to other aspects of your life, I feel like there's some major changes happening in your work environment. We have here the death card. This is like moving from one job to the next or changes like structural changes, uh, new protocols, new procedures, leaving old ways of uh, doing behind as well as uh, management changes, people leaving your workplace and um, new people coming in. Okay. 
with the death card it basically brings about new energy so if the workload has been very unfair or uneven if there has been shady people in your work environment who are not pulling their weight who are not really nice and friendly to begin with i feel like you, that's being left behind and there are stern new positive changes that are going to be coming into the picture new people new leadership in particular who's going to like whip things into shape and move everybody along and get things moving in a much faster manner so like um management or somebody is going to tell everybody you know work faster be a little bit more productive which is what you're really good at so as a fire sign you're going to really welcome and appreciate the change okay on top of that there's a lot of trepidation from your end about the work so i don't know if the workload is increasing it seems like it could um people might have left and leaving you with you know their work but you're going to have like really strong support from management, from higher ups, from people that are overseeing your work. So I don't see it being a problem. Currently with the Queen of Pentacles, um, this is a person in your work environment. So a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn, Sun, Moon or Rising. This is somebody who's like a little bit more on the selfish end. So they could be a coworker or a supervisor or a boss, somebody that likes to cover their butts, but you know, might throw somebody under the bus if they are connected to this uh, six of pentacles not willing to help not willing to um not willing to like step in and do their work or they 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 um they don't take responsibilities for their work i feel like it's going to be exposed okay so you have some um tough people working from the top down they're hard working and they're going to whip the place into shape well, you have these people that are potentially going to be leaving. So I, I do see a lot of changes happening in your work environment. Mercury retrograde also um, that just ended on the 19th. It's a really good time for management to figure out what are people up to, who's underperforming or who's, you know, overperforming. So I feel many of you, if you have been overperforming, you're going to get the recognition and the um, accolades that are coming to you. And then on the other hand, for those who have been underperforming, performance evaluation, I feel that's coming in and these people are going to be given their due justice, okay? So I hope the reading has been helpful. I hope that, you know, it's still relevant to what you're dealing with right now. I wish you all the best, Aries. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.